Hi, I'm Emily from Suguru. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upcycle and improve any container into a basket for your yarn. So by creating this little Suguru clip on the side, you can easily put your wool in and out and also you can tug on it without the wool coming out of the basket and without the different colours of yarn getting tangled. So Suguru is a really good material for this use. It's really flexible and so has a bit of give, but it's also cured really smooth so the wool won't get caught on it. Um, what you'll need is your basket, one mini pack of sugar, which will make two clips, some scissors, um, a pen, a toothpick, a scalpel and some dry tissue paper. Okay, so to begin, Take the scissors and cut open your packet of sugru. Peel back the foil and tear off about half. This is all you'll need to make one hook. Just work it between your fingers for a couple of seconds and you want to mould this into kind of an elongated square shape. You want to place this on the side of the basket, slightly overlapping the lip at the top. Just pinch it down both ways to ensure it gets a strong bond with the material. It'll kind of look like a diagonal V shape going that way. Just kind of smooth over the corners as well. And there you have your shape. If the sugu gets stuck on your fingers a bit, just take some of the toilet paper and you can wipe your fingers dry. So once you are happy that it's got a strong bond, take the toothpick. Where's my toothpick? And we're going to create a hole that goes diagonally down through this that the wool will be able to feed through. So you can either just place your thumb behind it and gently press with the toothpick completely through and just start to kind of rotate it to make a wide opening at the top for the wool to come out of. And kind of do the same from the bottom. Use the toothpick in the hole and just circle it. Once you're happy with that, just press down to neaten up. One last thing you've got to do, and that's using the angled side of the pen. What we do is just press that or roll it gently across the top side just to give the wool a smooth surface. That is the first stage of your hook completely finished. So you just leave this to the side, probably for a full 24 hours to cure, because the last thing we need to do is create a slit in the top. So if we go over to these ones, you can see that these have got a slit in the top that the wool can be pressed in and out of. You want to create a cut that goes from the top down to the hole. Press the scalpel down and create a cut. Um, to make it easier for the wool to get in and out, we're just gonna we're just gonna angle another cut, cut a bit wider at the top and go down to the bottom to create a V shape. And once you've done that you should have a clip that you're completely happy with, which means that you can press the yarn in and feed. And also, if you want to take your knitting with you, you can then clip it out as well. And that's the end of this super easy knitting project. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other tutorial videos at Sugru.